Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to get rid of these div errors in a pivot table. So uh, this is actually pretty simple. What I have here is just a pivot table with the percent change for, uh, over each month. And the way to get rid of that is very similar to, similar to how to get rid of uh, blank spaces in a pivot table. Um, that's in my other video on pivot tables on pro tips if you want to check that out. So the way you get rid of divs is basically you right click on the pivot table anywhere it could be anywhere and go to pivot table options and you can see here that I already have in the format uh, layout and formats tab uh, under format you can see that I have this checkbox for empty cell cells show zero uh, that's where this value here is showing zero because this isn't in, in my data set it's actually just it would show blank in the original pivot table <coughs> but here I specified to show zero now I could do the same thing for errors as well I could either have it show blank or just show as zero uh, so that way you could see that it changed to zero percent if I just want it to be um, like some text or something or just just to show up as blank you can just have the checkbox and then click OK. And then you'll have your blanks in there for errors. Uh, you can see that all the errors are now blanks. So that's essentially how you get rid of divs and at the same time how you replace blanks with a zero. It's the same sort of uh, steps. You just right click, pivot table options, layouts and formats, and then check one of these format boxes and specify what you want. 